Hi, I'm Pete Forsyth, instructor for the online course Writing Wikipedia Articles. I'm going to introduce you to the concept of a template on Wikipedia. You've probably encountered templates in software like word processors or other kinds of programs. The first thing I want to point out is that the word is used a little bit differently in Wikipedia. So let's take a look at the definition of a template on Wikipedia. This is the help page for templates. And if you want to refer back to this and look through the many detailed examples on this page, you might want to type in help colon template in the search bar on Wikipedia or one of the search the shortcuts that you see in the upper right corner of your screen. But let's look at the definition, the first couple sentences here. A template is a Wikipedia page created to be included in other pages. Templates usually contain repetitive material that might need to show up on any number of articles or pages. So a template is basically used when there's a situation that many different articles need to have either exactly the same text or they need to have text that is similar, that's maybe the same for most of it and then has certain parts of it that change depending on what article that you're looking at. Uh, it also can include graphical elements, pictures, tables, things like that. So let's start off by taking a look at a few different kinds of templates. Here's an article that has two banners across the top of it. You might hear people refer to these as templates, and that's accurate, but it's not necessarily the best way to describe it. I would say it's better to, to call them what they are in this particular instance, which is banners. But the point is, these, these two banners at the top are brought in with the technology of a template. A template is the way that they're, they're pulled into this page so that you don't have to type all of this text and pull this graphic in every time you want to put this at the top of an article. Here's another example. This Wikipedia article, like many that you've seen, has what's known as an info box in the upper right. So you see a title, a photo, and then a bunch of information summarized. Again, this is brought in with a template. The template is the technology that allows us to see this in a nicely structured format on a lot of different Wikipedia articles. Finally, let's look at a navigation box. So here we are at the bottom of the article on open access. And we see a box uh, that contains links to many different Wikipedia articles. So this is called a navigation box, and it exists to facilitate your browsing around Wikipedia and finding related articles. One thing that I'd like to point out on this one is that with many templates, not all templates, but many templates on Wikipedia, you'll see this text tucked into a corner, V, T, and E. So these are short for view, talk, and edit. And they correspond to the, uh, the, the page of the template itself. So if we want to view that page, we would click on the V. Uh, if we want to talk about the template, if we want to propose some changes to how the template works, this would be a shortcut to its talk page. And if we want to edit the template, edit the underlying code that causes this to appear, then we would click on the Edit button. So let's take a look at a much simpler template and get a sense of how they work. So on this screen, I have an, an edit screen at the bottom where I've typed in a little bit of Wikipedia code or Wikipedia syntax. And at the top, I've clicked the preview button so we're seeing what that code turns into. So the code that I've typed in is two curly braces followed by the word sample and then two closing curly braces. So the curly braces let the Wikipedia page know that it's supposed to pull something in from a different page known as a template, and the name of that template is sample. So we've just put a little bit of code in here, but then it turns out it turns into this big long sentence. This is a bunch of text that we might want to include in a bunch of Wikipedia articles. It's also orange and it's at a large font size. So it also has a little bit of code at the end. It has three curly braces and the word name. So that doesn't really look quite right. Well, let's look at how that part of it is supposed to be used. So here I've modified the code that I put in a little bit. Uh, after the name of the template, sample, 
I put in a vertical pipe, and then I put the word name equals Pete. And you see how that turns out up here. It put Pete at the end. So the word name was defined in the, in the template, and we'll see how it was defined in a moment. Uh, and it's what's known as a parameter. So when we give that parameter a value, the value is the word Pete, then the template knows to pull that in where the parameter was defined. So let's take a look at the code that was used to create the template, and hopefully this will start to come together. So here we see our edit screen has a lot more in it. First, it has some code that tells it to make the font a certain color and a certain size. So that's code that we could have just put directly into our article on, or on any Wikipedia page, but we chose to put it in the template so that it doesn't clutter up our page. And then you see that familiar text and the closing font code. And finally, you see how that parameter was defined. Here we have triple curly braces and the word name, and then we close the braces. So that's what tells it when the page defines what the name parameter should be, put that text here. Now you remember that it showed up in black and at a smaller size. That's just because we closed this font code before it. If we were to put this at the end instead, then all of the text, including my name, would come up in large orange font. So I hope this introduction has given you a good understanding of what templates are. There's a great deal that you can do with templates. So uh, you, if you want to do something complicated, your best resource is going to be that help screen. Uh, once again, you're going to find that at help colon template anywhere on Wikipedia. And on this page, you're going to find lots and lots of examples and links to existing templates. Uh, you'll also find there are features that we didn't go into here and, uh, and entirely different ways of defining templates by using a, a programming language called Lua. So if you want to get into those details, this is your best resource. In case you found this video uh, outside of our class, please feel free to come uh, visit our class page and even join a future version of the class. Here's the address for it. The class is known as Writing Wikipedia Articles. It's a six-week course that we've offered several times. We don't have a new version of the course scheduled as of today, but if you check back on this page, you'll probably find new editions of the course advertised in the future. Thanks for watching.